Hi friends, Mickey Mancus here and welcome to Out the Back Door. Today I'm really excited. I just got my new Royal Berkey filtration system for water. This is the first one I've ever had and I'm going to set it up. Come along. Okay, you may be wondering why would I want a water filter when I live out in the country and I have well water? Well, a couple of reasons. Sometimes we have an overabundance of iron in our water and too much of that in your system isn't a good thing. There's other things that could be leaching into the water also and this is supposed to remove um, a considerable amount of um, chemicals and such that may be in our soil leaching into the water. It should bring it down to levels that are below what would be considered an okay amount that you're ingesting. So the other reason is I am a prepper. You can stock up so many gallons of water in your prepper pantry so that you're ready for an emergency, but my thought is that takes up a lot of space. So what this Berkey is supposed to be able to do is actually filter out. I'd be able to collect rainwater, snow, stream water, creek, our nasty pond, anything like that if I do need additional source of water supply in order to drink. The really cool thing about the Berkey is they even give you little bottles of artificial red dye to pour in there to prove um, as it comes through, filters through into your drinking portion, it's crystal clear. If there's any red dye coming through, either the filter isn't in there properly or they said possibly your filter needs cleaning or it just needs replacing. The Royal will hold up to four filters. It comes with two and that's what I'm going to stick with because the more filters that you have in these, the faster it's going to filter your water through. And I don't feel it needs to go any faster than the two filters, so I'm good with that. So I'm going to unpackage all of this and show you the other things that I've also received along with it. And I'm going to set this up. I'm excited. Okay, I did order this from Berkey Water Filters and Purifiers. Um, on their website, they did say that they were an authorized Berkey dealer, and that's why I decided to go through them. Berkey is made in the United States, um, so I am going to start unpacking this. This should hold three and a quarter gallons of purified water in the bottom section. I think I need to turn it on its side to pull it out. Okay, and the nice thing about it is when you, you can actually bring this traveling with you. Um, they have several different sizes. They have really big ones. It all depends on how much water you're going to go through every day. So, this looks like it's got like a little hairnet bandana on it to protect it. We're going to be assembling, um, putting a knob on the top here. That should be inside here. And what I was saying that um, it's nice for traveling because the top and the bottom fit into each other as far as storage because this is my top portion. All right, and as I mentioned, um, it does come with two of the black rookie filters. Um, you can purchase extra for removing like chlorine and fluoride out of your water system, especially if you live in town, if you have municipal water. We do not, so I wasn't concerned about that. These are stainless steel, and right now the bottom just kind of looks like a garbage can. But it does have a hole here where the spigot's going to go. Now, the Berkeys do come with a plastic spigot. And I automatically ordered a stainless steel one right away. Okay, it comes with like a rubber ring that you're going to set the bottom portion on. It's kind of like an anti-skid ring. If I can get it on here. There we go. And that way, if it's close by the counter, you don't have the chance of children sliding and pulling it off or adults. Um, it'll help it so that it doesn't slide all over the place and just kind of cushions it. 
All right, as I said, um, it automatically comes with a plastic spigot. I, I just don't care for plastic spigots. I have small water coolers. Um, my continuous brew container for my kombucha, uh, I changed that when I got the container, it came with a plastic spigot and I put stainless steel on that along with my other little water coolers and everything. I just don't want that extra plastic. Plus, to me, they wear out a lot faster, more chance of them getting broken if bumped into or something. And I don't want to be ingesting that extra plastic. All right, we also have in this package, we've got plugs that are going to be going into the bottom because like I said, there's four holes in this one in the Royal. And this is supposed to be able to do enough water. Um, they're looking at four to six people um, that this will take care of daily, really easily. Um, just filling it up one time. It came with the um, two filters in here that I'm gonna put in here, the black filters, but it also have, has plugs in here in case you don't wanna put four filters in here. So I'm going to actually work from the bottom up. And so I'm gonna put the spigot in next. Okay, like I said, this is a third party spigot. Uh, I actually ordered this on Amazon because I got it for about $10 less than ordering from this um, Berkey authorized dealer. So I'm going to take the nut that came with it off of the threaded area of my spigot. If you have a hard time telling whether your spigot is open or not, remember this. If your water line, gas line, anything like that is running this direction and your valve is pointing parallel in the same way, it's open. So see, it's open right now. Now to close it, it's like a ball valve in there. You can turn it sideways and now it's closed. Just a simple way to remember that. So also we have, I don't know if these are Teflon, silicone, I'm thinking silicone because they're somewhat soft. All right, so the order that we're going to put these in on um, to our spigot, we would be doing the same thing if you're gonna use the, the plastic spigot, is we have these little metal pieces here. And now the rounded side is going to go on here first. Then, Okay, our little rubber gaskets, well, I believe they're silicone, it feels like it. Um, you're gonna, they're the same on both sides, you're gonna slide that on next. And that's going to fit up inside against that metal piece there. Our hole is down here, and I'm going to shove it in. All right, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to put our little rubber gasket, our little silicone gasket next on the inside on the thread. And we're going to do the same thing um, on the inside here. We're going to be cupping it, our metal piece. So our thread is going to be first into the little gasket. And then the way that this is um, shaped cupped, you want it to fit over that little gasket there. So remember the gasket goes against the Berkey container. Now when you tighten these down, no matter if it's um, the plastic one that you're using that comes with this, or if you're doing the metal one, do not over tighten it. You do want it snug, but do not over tighten it. All right, so next comes the nut. And I'm just going to kind of hand thread this on here easily. I just want to show you really quick what it looks like on the inside. Those silicone gaskets are going to squish up against the hole um, on the bottom of our container here. You know, it's kind of hard doing this with bifocals too. <laughs> I think tightening, holding the nut with the pliers and tightening the um, spigot is working for me. <laughs> All right, that looks straight up and down. 
Um, okay, so like I said, do not over tighten it. Now remember, I was showing you that all right, right now it's closed. This would be the open position. So if it's running parallel, the same direction with your little spigot faucet, it means you're gonna get your, your water out of here. Okay, let's close that up. I know I said I'm starting from the bottom up. I'm kind of jumping to the top. Um, you've got a little knob here. There's a screw and a little tiny washer in here that we're going to attach to the very top. All right, just make sure that your washer is on your screw first. And we're gonna bring it up through the bottom of our, hmm. Okay, we're gonna bring it up through the bottom and we're just going to screw a little knob down in. Yeah, easier said than done. Now all I did was hold my thumb down on um, the little machine screw in the back here and tighten this down hand tight and that's it. You don't need to crank down on it any more than that, otherwise you're gonna strip it out. So anyway, so we have our cover done. Okay, now I've seen a lot of people, um, I was looking on YouTube uh, to see how people were assembling this, how they were using it, how they clean the filters and everything. And one thing I noticed, most people were putting the filters in first and then they were putting the plugs in. And to me, I don't wanna have to try to stick my hands and arms down in there when the filters are in there, I'm putting the plugs in first. So the plugs come with a little nut on here. I'm gonna take those off. There's also um, little rubber gaskets on here. Now I'm going to put these on opposite sides. I'm not gonna put them side by side, but across from each other. So these go on the bottom, the bottom, the outside. Okay, and the nut is going on the inside. Same thing with these little white plugs that I put in here because we're not gonna put four filters in. Make sure that they're just hand tight and that you don't crank them down because you don't wanna crack them. All right, so that's what it looks like on the inside and what it would look on the outside. So what's going to happen is we are setting this on top. And then once we have our filters in and everything and we pour our water in, then this is gonna be our cover. That's why I said it was really cool that you could use this for traveling. The portion that has the filters in it, you just flip it upside down and it'll fit down in here and make it compact and it's easy for travel. But you do have to remove your filters from it first. We have all of that assembled and the next process is going to be taking care of our filters. Now, I did order an extra set of filters. The reasoning I did that is the prepper in me. Kind of like when um, I did a video on the basic canning tools that are needed and replacement parts that are needed for the canners. I keep those on hand because if something happened and we can't get it, what good is that tool gonna be if something breaks and I don't have a replacement part? These are the filters that came with the Berkey filter system. And I did order an extra set. So this is what the filter looks like. And there's a nut on here and there's actually another um, like spongy type gasket that will keep the water from um, just seeping through without being filtered. I did watch somebody that was recommending, they said they lived up in Alaska and they collect rainwater. That's their water source. And they've got a Berkey and they said they love their Berkey, but they also showed when he cleans it once a year and that's it, which really surprised me. But you know, he showed how his filters almost had like a kind of slimy dirty on the outside and everything. So they were doing an excellent job with the filtration and everything, but he recommended ordering an extra set of the little spongy rubber washer that goes on these and the nut. So what did I do? I ordered an extra set of these. Um, so then that way, 
if something should happen and the filters are still good, if I over tighten these or something, or they start just, they're wearing out, and I decide to do like that red dye test and something's leaking through, um, I could check to see if this might be the issue. But anyway, so I ordered extra washers and um, wing nuts for the actual filter itself. Now, this size, um, the Royal, um, is supposed to be good. The filters are supposed to be able to filter up to approximately 6,000 gallons of water. Now, that's quite a bit. So they could last a few years. Besides drinking regular water, I'm gonna be using this in my coffee maker, any of my cooking, that type of thing. So I'm sure that I'm gonna be going through the three plus gallons of water every day that are in the bottom of the Berkey here that have been filtered. These need to be primed before we're gonna put them in here and use them. So there was this handy dandy little tool kit that came in here. I didn't really buy a bundle. You can get a bundle um, and you get different things with it. But, all right. It comes with this little prime right gizmo. And how this works is you're gonna take your wing nut off of your filter. I'm gonna take my little washer off also. But um, the small end fits over your screw piece here. And then this part is going to fit over your faucet, um, your, you know, where your water comes out of your faucet, except that's not really going to work on mine, and I thought it would. Uh, the type of faucet I have, I've got a handheld one that'll pull out and it's wide. Well, at the very bottom of the base, it flares out. And that's where my problem is. And I tried and I tried and I tried to put this on. And it just would not fit. So, um, I think I'm just going to put this aside. All right. I did get um, two bottles of the red dye in there, and there's also um, a little piece in here, a plastic piece, if you're putting the white filter in um, that takes care of removing the chlorine and fluoride, and I'm not sure what else it removes, um, you would be using that attachment in order because this size is a little bit different than the white filters. All right, so I'm gonna set that aside. So what I ended up doing, I bought a primer ball. These are extra. Uh, Black Berkey primer and two reasons I got it. Because I wasn't sure if it was going to just automatically work on my faucet or not. Or if I happen to take this, if we go up to the hunting shack and I bring it with, um, I don't have a water faucet. We have to haul water up there. So I don't have a water supply where I'm going to be able to force water down through here in order to prime and you know um, get the water coming out of the filter. So I got this little uh, bulb type primer. Okay, there's two of these little airflow pieces and they both go the same direction. So you really need to look at your directions if you order something like this to make sure that we are going in the right way. So the little one that's in this end already is going to be in the same direction because there's like one side is bigger than the other. So let's cram that one in there. And you get a piece of tubing for both ends that you're going to hook onto these little connectors. I think once I get this put together, I'm gonna to leave it together. Okay, one thing about this besides priming it, you can also purge the water out of your filters. Say if you wanna put this in storage or if you're gonna transfer it somewhere um, so that you don't have just water leaking everywhere, you can hook this up. There's directions on how to do a purging to pull the excess water out in order for them to dry quickly. Okay, this little gizmo, it's another like little washer, but um, I don't know what this is made out of. Maybe this is made out of rubber. But you get one of these. This helps with your priming also. And all you have to do is 
slide it over the top. You get one per pair of um, for every two filters that you buy. And this you're going to be putting up against the faucet and you kind of have to hold it in place and it may spurt out, I'm not quite sure. And then that way you're gonna hold it up there long enough where your water's gonna start coming out of your filter. So let's get to that step and we're gonna go over to the sink. All right, I'm just going to use my French press right now and I'm gonna put water in here. Um, what you need is cool or room temp water. You don't wanna put hot water. And as I was trying to show you earlier, um, I have attached this bulb um, system. It screws onto the filter. I am going to submerge my filter. And now I'm going to start pumping. And hopefully this is going to work. But what I'm trying to do is suck the water up into the filter. And if I'm doing this properly, sooner or later, if I have the little valves in there the right direction, I should have water coming out of my little 90 degree barbed elbow. Now, funny how I haven't seen anybody do this yet, so I don't know if I have this going the right way. Guess what? I'm gonna look at the directions again. Okay. Um, it said that it had to be submersed in the water the entire time that I'm priming. And I thought, well, maybe the French press wasn't deep enough. So I went and I got a half gallon um, canning jar and I stuck it in there and I kept trying to pump and pump and it was not going anywhere, but it does feel heavier. So I went and I got the little brown donut that they include with the filters. And let's see if I can do this without making a mess. Do you see how um, this flares out so far? That other gizmo wasn't really working. So I need to hold that up there tightly and hold the filter at the same time. You're gonna run water in there, but not big time. Can you see the water coming out of the filter? That's your goal. So I think that um, I was priming it well enough with that bulb. It's just, it's taking a little more time. All right, turn it off. The reason for priming it is because then when you pour your water in, um, I'm going to stick this in the other thing of water, is so that your water goes through the filter properly and runs a lot faster. All right, I'm going to grab my other one and just do it on here and see how it looks. Okay, so this one's completely dry. As you can see in comparison, this one's kind of drying off, but all right. Let's put that little donut back on there. You don't need really high water pressure, but you do need to hang on to this when you're doing this. And you're going to let the water seep through there until you start seeing it come out of the sides of the filter. There you go. You see? That's what priming is. And I think, like I said, if I would have taken long enough with the bulb, um, I would have got it to work. And I'm spraying water, so I'm gonna turn it off. So, okay, so these are both primed. I'm gonna stick that back in the water for now. Okay, here we go. We are going to be inserting our filters um, in. We have to remember our little washer gasket um, has to go on the thread first. And we are going to be installing it. Through the hole. Then I'm going to attach the plastic nut to the bottom. Be careful not to cross thread. And when you tighten it down, just remember, you are not going to be cranking on it. This is what our inside looks like. We've got our plugs in there and we have our filters in there. Our next step, I'm gonna bring this back over to the sink because what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this back onto the top 
and I'm going to fill it up with cool water. Now, um, it may take up to about 90 minutes, it depends, in order to filtrate through down here, but then I'm going to drain all that water out. That's because there's some sediment in the filters as they're brand new, and we wanna get that all out of there. Some people do it two or three times. The directions did recommend running water through it at least one time and then emptying it out and then doing it again. You're flushing out the filters and they're also becoming, they're staying nice and saturated with the water. So anyway, that's what I'm going to be doing right now. I'm going to fill up the top full of cold water and I'm going to let it uh, drain down into the bottom like it's supposed to, filtrate down there. And then I'm going to open up the spigot and let it run into the sink. So when we get to that point, then I'll show you the next step. I just want to show you quick. See, they're dripping where they're supposed to, just out of the two um, openings of the filter there. So um, I'm going to keep filling this all up and everything. And then, like I said, once it, it all drains down into the bottom, then I'm going to empty it out. And um, I will start with a fresh batch again. Can you hear how fast the water is filtrating through there? And I've been calling them filters, and I looked at the instructions, and they call them elements. I'm not quite sure why, but all right, I needed to correct myself on that. So those black cartridges are called elements and not filters, even though they're filtrating everything. So all right, shouldn't take that long for this to empty out. I'm very impressed. Um, I just got done putting together a chocolate cream pie and in the short time that it took for me to assemble that and get it in the refrigerator and clean up, this had drained already. That's how fast it went through the, um, I'm still going to call them filters, um, it, through your cartridges and stuff. So the elements, um, so there's probably maybe an inch left in the bottom and that's it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just open up the spigot here and let it start draining. I guess I'm rinsing my dishes that um, I had made with the chocolate pie. But uh, once this empties out, then I am going to move it into position of where I'm going to keep it. Okay, as far as changing the filters or cleaning them, for the most part, um, if you have standard water, you're using tap water, I'm saying. I would suggest probably cleaning them once every 12 months. If the flow starts slowing down, then I would check to see about cleaning them. So when I'm ready to clean the elements in here, the, um, the black elements, I will do a video on that. It'll just be a quick one. It won't take much to do that. But as long as you keep good maintenance and keep them clean and everything, this is going to last a very long time. Like I said, I do have a spare set of cartridges just in case. Now, if I was running, if it came down to an emergency and I was running just pond water through there, um, I may be cleaning those cartridges once a month. I don't know. Here's a suggestion. <clears throat> if you have more than one person in your home, eat. well, if it was just you singly, you wouldn't probably buy as big of a Berkey filter as I have for my husband and myself. But what you could do is designate one person to filling this because if you put too much water in here, say like if the bottom is filtered and you've got three gallons in there and you haven't used it yet and somebody comes behind you and says, oh, well the top is almost empty, I'm gonna fill it up. That's gonna filter in and it's gonna start seeping out and overflowing through this seam here because this is just sitting on here, it's not sealed. So that's just a suggestion. Designate one person on keeping this filled up on a regular basis. You may have to do this once a day, maybe you have to do it twice a day, depending on how many people are in your family and how fast you're going through the water. Um, another thing is you don't want your filters to dry out. You're going to have to prime them again. When I get this into position, um, I'll show you what it looks like and I'll get my first glass of water out of there. I'm excited to have this. Well, you can really tell how short I am when I'm standing next to my cabinet now that I've got the water coolers up here. But anyway, um, it's the next day now. What I ended up doing is I did run a second batch of water through here, through the filters for the initial um, cleaning of them. 
And so I am going to try out the water now to see how it tastes. Now, this has got the filtered water from the Berkey, um, and this one has our regular tap water. I haven't filtered this or anything. Um, it's straight tap water. We have well water, and I like the taste of this. Just a couple of days ago, I had the opportunity to go out for lunch for the first time in like a year and a half with a friend, and when we went to the restaurant, I just ordered a glass of water to drink, and not even thinking of it, we were in the city, and I went and I took a big chug -a lug of the water and I thought, ooh, I, I mean, it's like, it was shock. Um, I forgot that they fill it full of chlorine and it's got fluoride and everything else in it. And it's just like, I did not care for the taste of it. So um, I wanna just do a, a taste comparison to see if I do notice anything different from the Berkey now. So, okay, I've got two little glasses here. I've got a plain one and then one with rib sides. Um, I'm gonna do my well water in the little one here. Like I said, I like my water. All right, let's try the Berkey. That's interesting. Now I really can't taste a difference to be honest. Um, I think what I'm tasting is just a tiny bit more mineral, but yet the Berkey is not filtering out the minerals that we are supposed to be taking into our bodies. The best way I can describe um, the water that's coming out of the Berkey is there's absolutely no taste. It's just nice, clean, refreshing. By the way, if you're new to the channel, thanks for watching. And if you did like this video, please consider subscribing and hit the notification bell and give me a thumbs up. And if you have any comments or questions, please leave them below because I really would like to hear from you. So until next time, cheers and God bless.